Well, the pandemic changed a lot of things for a lot of people, including moms to be. COVID concerns spiked a new trend for expectant mothers, home births. Heather Mills explains the concern among some medical experts. The number of home births increased 22% during the height of the pandemic, the highest level since 1990, according to the CDC. She's the best thing that came out of the pandemic. Yeah, it was great. But two years ago, when Athena was about to come into the world, it was the peak of the pandemic, an uncertain and scary time, especially for moms about to give birth. And like April, May, they were like not allowing anybody in the hospital. And I was just terrified to go into the hospital alone. So after doing her homework on home births, Camilla decided not to go to the hospital. It was beautiful. It was really beautiful. It was, of course, like there was... We were nervous. It was a full house, her husband and toddler by her side, along with two midwives, a doula and her pediatrician. I remember I was laying down in my bed and like they saw the head and I started pushing. And then she was born and she was not breathing. So that was, I think, the most stressful part. After like a minute, she like started doing these like really cute noises and moving and took her first breath, but she never really cried. But not every woman is a candidate for home birth. Ultimately, one of the major obstetrical risks is the baby's shoulders being stuck and you may only have seconds to a few minutes to deliver that baby and may be difficult to transport mom and baby in, in that kind of emergency setting. Dr. Paniz Hyderi has had to have important and serious conversations with many of her patients considering home births. She says there's one statistic that for many isn't worth the risk. There is a two to three fold increase of perinatal loss, death associated with home births. For Camilla, she's glad she had the option that many women don't. I felt like really empowered to have her at home. And of course I was afraid as the day came closer, you know, but it ended up being great. Dr. Hyderi says as women are giving birth at an older age, they may have more complex medical issues. So she says the best conversation to have is with your physician. Heather Mills, live local now.